What's up guys, as always I am Chef, and welcome to the first episode of Flash Cooking, where I pair some of my favorite Flash games with step-by-step -step instructions from my own personal recipes to teach you all how to cook. Today's game is Creeper World Evermore, and today's recipe is Chicken and Dumpling Soup. Right now you should see a list of ingredients on your screen, it's going to go away but you can find it down below in the description along with all the steps I'm going over in this video. Let's start by dicing our vegetables. This is a good rustic soup so don't put a lot of work into this. Keep the pieces kind of rough and kind of large. Next, add your butter to the pot and turn the heat to medium. Once the butter is just melted, go ahead and add in all the veggies. This is called sweating, it's a little different than sautéing because you're starting in a cold pan. Cook the vegetables for about 5 minutes or just until the onions start to lose their color and go translucent. While that's cooking, go ahead and dice up your chicken into bite sized pieces. Once the onions start to change color, go ahead and add in the chicken and cook until it's just about halfway done. Next, add in the dry thyme, tarragon, and oregano, as well as the first listed black pepper and the first listed salt. Keep stirring and cooking until the chicken is all the way cooked through. Once the chicken is done, go ahead and add in the stock. Next, turn the heat to high and let the pot come to a boil. Once boiling, turn the heat down to about medium low, slap on a lid, and let it simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes. While the soup simmers, let's make our dumplings. Start by combining flour, baking powder, and the remaining dry spices in the mixing bowl and whisk together to blend. Next, add two eggs and one tablespoon of the water to the flour mixture and whisk to combine. You may or may not have to add more water to get the consistency right. It should be somewhere between bread dough and pancake batter. You don't want it stiff enough to knead, but it also shouldn't be so thin and wet that you can pour it easily. Once the soup is simmered, we can go ahead and make our dumplings. First turn the heat back up to high and bring the pot to a boil. Then add in the dumpling mixture, a half a teaspoon at a time. The best way to do this is to take the kind of teaspoon you eat with, not measure with, and scoop off a little bit of dumpling mixture, just enough to fill the top half of the spoon. Then take another teaspoon and scooch the mixture off into the pot. Once all your dumplings are in, Drop the heat back down to medium, put the lid back on, and let it simmer for 15 more minutes. Finally, turn the heat off and let the soup stand for about 10 minutes more. After that, get a bowl and a spoon and get your eat on. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and this video. If you do, leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching and stay sharp. 